Hey everyone, in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you the seven spreadsheets that pretty much run my whole business, marketing agency, personal finance, like everything. These spreadsheets pretty much run my entire life. So without further ado, I'm going to hop over to my computer, actually show you these spreadsheets and how I use them. And if you want to recreate them for yourself to use in your own business, super cool, go for it. I will mention really, really fast that the spreadsheets I'm going to be showing are actually copies and I've replaced all the info with dummy info so it's not actually going to be my personal numbers and agency numbers I obviously don't want to share any of that information so having said that let's go ahead and dive in All right, here we are on my computer. So this first spreadsheet that we're going to cover is marketing agency client overview spreadsheet, right? So you can see on this spreadsheet, it will say the client name, their location, what service we're providing for them, what their billing date is. So all of our marketing clients are usually on uh, monthly recurring services, right? So let's say this person gets billed on the second and we're charging them $5,000 a month. This would be a pretty good account. Here's our fulfillment cost. Here's our monthly ad budget for that client, etc. We'll notate all all of those things here on that spreadsheet for them. This is a great spreadsheet to have for your marketing agency because at a glance, you can see here's all my clients, here's their billing dates, here's our total monthly recurring revenue. Here's our total for the amount of ad budget the clients are spending. And by the way, in our marketing agency, the client ad spend does not come out of the retainer. We use a retainer plus ad spend model, meaning the retainer that the client pays us is all for us. And then they cover their own ad spend. So if we're doing Google ads for them, as an example, they put their credit card on the Google ads account, okay? And then we have account notes. So this is where I'll put notes throughout the month to make note of anything I need to get with our account managers about, right? So let's say this person's card declined on the Google ads account. I can make a note of that right here. And then on our weekly account manager meeting, we can go over that note and troubleshoot any items with clients. Okay. So this is a spreadsheet I would look at pretty much every single day. Now, the other spreadsheet that I have here on this one document is an advertising and marketing tracking spreadsheet. So with my marketing agency, and you can see this is old information, like this is from February. Like I said, these are our dummy uh, spreadsheets. I don't want to share any current information of my business, but this is a spreadsheet we would use to track any advertising we were doing to get clients for our marketing agency and the results and new customers and revenue that were coming from those marketing channels. So you can see right here, I'd be tracking amount of Facebook advertising that we are using uh, or spending, the amount of Google advertising that we were doing, how many leads and new booked appointments were generated from that ad spend. And then we could also keep track of how many new clients came from that marketing, the total cash collected on the upfront sale, the total new monthly recurring revenue that those clients were adding to our business, the projected commissions for our sales team, any setup fee expenses that we accrue on the back end, and any monthly recurring expenses. So this is like your cost of fulfillment and cost of goods sold, things like that. Then of course, I'll keep track of the source, whether it was from a referral or paid ads, such as PPC and Facebook. I would also do some calculations here on the side, such as new clients, total cash collected, total MRR added, marketing spend, you know, front end profit from advertising, front end profit margin, monthly recurring revenue profit added, all this fun stuff, okay? Client acquisition costs, only considering ad spend and then client acquisition costs considering ad spend and sales commissions. So this is like a really thorough spreadsheet to track all of your marketing activities, how many clients you're getting, your client acquisition cost, etc. Okay. Whenever we really scaled up with our paid advertising, such as Google ads and Facebook ads, I looked at the spreadsheet every day, sometimes multiple times a day. Okay. Moving on to the next spreadsheet. I typically look at this spreadsheet and the one I'm going to show you next at the beginning of the day during the 30 minute period where I'm personally doing like my daily tasks. So usually every morning I leave my house, I go grab a cup of coffee, I come to the office and I start my day off with about 20 to 30 minutes of what I call just my daily tasks, okay? And sometimes the first item I knock out on that list is going ahead and looking at my annual goals and filling out my daily gratitude journal, which I do every morning. It takes like five minutes. It doesn't have to be anything special or crazy, uh, but I will go to this spreadsheet where I can see my goals for the year. And again, these are like made up, uh, you know, figures 
figures and, and made up goals, if you will. My personal stuff, I'm not like putting on a, a YouTube video. Anyways, let's say that uh, my goal is to do 200 workouts this year, four vacations, pay off a house, pay off a car, 80 new clients, um, grow my personal brand to 40,000 TikTok followers, do 200 Spanish lessons, grow my agency to this amount of revenue level. Like I have these big goals, right? And uh, I keep track of where they are throughout the year, okay? So I would just briefly look at this and see if I can, you know, tack on one square to any of these um, throughout the, the year. And I would check this on a daily basis. Also, I would go to my daily gratitude spreadsheet and I would just type out three quick things that I'm grateful for. It could be like, hey, I'm grateful that my son had an awesome soccer game yesterday. I'm grateful that me and my wife got to go on a date night last night. Um, I'm grateful for uh, the energy, like how, how good I'm feeling today. Sometimes it could be as complex as I'm grateful for a conversation I had with this person because of this thing. Or it could be as simple as like, I'm just grateful for this stinking cup of coffee that's sitting right in front of me. Okay. But whatever it is, I take three, four minutes and just write down some things I'm thankful for. Okay. Now the last few spreadsheets are really some heavy duty finance type of sheets, not really heavy duty, but it's more detailed finance around my business and personal finance. Okay. So you can see this spreadsheet will track agency metrics month over month. And these are really high level 30,000 foot view agency metrics. We can see like January, um, new clients added clients lost total clients we have right now where our agency uh, recurring revenue is at or agency total revenue, our churn, so like the amount of clients we're losing, right? Um, which clients we lost, I'll take note of that there just in case we wanna follow up with them. And then down here, it will track net new clients for the month. So let's say we gained six clients and lost one client. That means we netted five clients that month. So I'm looking at that almost like you look at net profit in a sense, but it's with clients. And then down here, I set up a graph that tracks um, all of these numbers in a, in a line graph format. Okay. So this is something that I would update, you know, between once and twice a week, I would just look at it ever so often. And it gives me a really good sense of where my agency is heading, how things are trending and how I'm doing over overall on a month to month basis. Okay. Now the next spreadsheet is our expenses. Now I'm kind of a freak about this. I do my expense report daily or I update my expense report daily. Okay. Every single day. And I know this is crazy, but it only takes me like three minutes. So it's not that crazy. I just love to have my finger on the pulse of my business finances. So what I'll do is every single day I'll log into my business bank account. I'll copy the transactions from the previous day and I'll paste them into this expense report. And then after that, I I will categorize them into these categories. So it shows a few things for me, such as the month to date income, my month to date expenses, my month to date profit shows me things like the amount of money I'm spending in each of these expense categories. And then what percentage each of these categories are of the total expenses for that month. Okay. There are categories such as equipment, um, taxes and bank fees, software, education, payroll, marketing and advertising, sales commissions, fulfillment, subcontracted services, uh, personal expenses, uh, unnecessary. So this might be like uh, eating out or uh, any unnecessary spending that I should cut back on. Um, any other businesses I'm investing into, travel, etc. And of course, for your business, you can make up your own categories, okay? But I update this every day, quickly put in the transactions from yesterday, which is as simple as copy and pasting from my bank account over to the spreadsheet and then reorganizing it a little bit. And then after they are in there, categorizing them over here on the left side. By the way, the way I do that is like, I'll click on one of these categories and I will tell it, okay, this equals this plus this plus this, right? And then it will come up with a sum of how much money was spent in that category. I know this is probably really small on your screen, but that's that. And then lastly, I have this annual cash accounting spreadsheet. Now this is another thing that's like really detailed and I'm not even saying you have to do this, but I like to make note at the beginning of every month, what is the cash balance of each of my business and personal bank accounts, maybe even how much money I have invested in crypto. You could even do it for stocks. I also have my credit card balance because my business, we spend advertising money on credit cards, not because we need to, or we don't have the money in the the bank. It's so we can get rewards and travel points and all that fun stuff. So I keep track of what the credit card balance is. And I usually just pay it off every other week. Anyway, so you can see right here, you could keep track of bank one and what its value is or what the dollar amount is in that bank. Bank two, bank three, credit card balance, stocks, investments, 
and then total, and then of course you can see on the far right monthly growth. So again, I update this just once a month, literally on the first of every month, and I like to be able to see, again, at the beginning of every month, after everything is said and done, after all personal expenses and business expenses and like everything, the dust has settled, I want to know has my cash on hand across all of my bank accounts and investments increased or decreased. I wanna keep my finger on the pulse and watch that trend over time. Okay, so that does it for this video. I know that's a lot of information and some of those spreadsheets are really, really detailed. I could definitely see a case for you not needing to do like for instance, the month over month cash accounting thing or updating an expense report daily, but I'm like a mega spreadsheet nerd and I love doing that stuff. And really it only takes me about 15 to 20 minutes per day to do some of those updates, to write out my daily gratitude, check my annual goals, update my expense report, and then maybe check my client spreadsheet and my advertising spreadsheet. It really only takes like 15, 20 minutes, okay? And then I move on with the more important tasks that I need to get done that morning or that day. So I hope this helps in any way. If you're trying to get more organized with your digital marketing agency or really any type of business, maybe you'll get some ideas from these spreadsheets and be able to implement them into your own business. Okay, by the way, if you are a digital marketer and you're trying to get more clients and grow your book of business, so that way you can use these fancy spreadsheets to manage your book of business, right? I encourage you to check out my eight step sales process video. This is a video where I go into detail and show you the eight step sales script that my marketing agency used to land 75 three clients within 12 months. I think you'll find that very valuable if you are a digital marketing agency owner. Having said that, my name is Blake Snodgrass. I'll see you in the next video.